And when I was a kid, I played the piano uh, pretty intensely. My parents put me through lessons and they made me practice a lot and do all these competitions every year. And it was a big part of my musical upbringing, uh, my musical roots. And when I got to middle school, I decided I want to play in a band. And so I didn't want to play piano, I wanted to play wind instrument. And I didn't know which instrument to choose. And no, I didn't pick the trombone. I actually picked the flute because Christine, the girl I liked, she was a flute player, so I thought maybe I'll sit next to her and, you know, it'll work out. Um, <laughs> but I subsequently heard the jazz band play, and I thought this is about the coolest thing I've ever heard. I'll never forget, they played Louis Louis and American Patrol, Glenn Miller Orchestra. And I thought it was just amazing. So I said to the band director, I've got to be in that band next year. She said, well, if you switch to trombone, I'll let you in the band. And I kind of grumbled about it because I really did not want to play trombone. But lo and behold, it stuck. And it was all because of that performance by that jazz band. In college, I had a lot of really beautiful musical experiences. But the most pivotal moment in my career, I think, was, was a project that was born not of school, but of personal interest. And uh, my chamber music group, the Maniacal Four, four trombones, we formed as freshmen at the University of North Texas. We played together for 11 years and toured a lot. It was really cool. We ended up recording a cover of uh, Carry On Wayward Son by Kansas. We put this up on YouTube thinking like it was going to be for our, our own, you know, enjoyment. And, and overnight it blew up. It was on the front page of Reddit. We got like, you know, a million views overnight, something like that, which is unheard of for our instrument. And that launched us into an entirely new uh, sort of phase of our career. We started touring a lot and we doubled down. We recorded a CD, uh, 70s uh, rock covers. So it was a pretty influential moment for us. One of the most pivotal moments of my professional years of playing the trombone was in uh, December 2015, when I had surgery to remove mm, all four of my wisdom teeth, and unfortunately ended up with a pretty bad case of TNJ disorder. TNJ disorder affects this, this joint here, where the jaw attaches to the skull, and uh, because I was grinding at night, I ended up doing quite a lot of damage to the soft tissue and the nerves and the bones as well up here. Um, so as a result, I lost a lot of my abilities on the instrument and I went through a few painful years of rehabilitation. It gave me a completely newfound respect for efficiency and for healthy playing function. Uh, and it gave me a challenge to overcome in a way that I'd never really had to do on my instrument before. I am somewhat appreciative of this uh, experience, even though I probably wouldn't do it again if I had the choice.